Oh, you already done, kid. So I was like, what you mean we done? You got a mirror? See, here's the thing. I kind of pushed your hairline a little. Oh, no, 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 no. What you mean a little? Just a tiny bit. But fam, no one's going to notice it. Trust me. So I turned around, looked in the mirror. If there's one thing that all men are insecure about, it's their hairline. See, the hairline represents youth, looks, and most of all, confidence. See, when you let a barber cut your hair, you, my God, are putting your life into his hands. A true test of faith in nothing hurts more. Nothing cuts deep. And a pushback hairline, mm. See, it's one thing if God takes it all away. But having a man push back your cut, ooh, wait. But I feel you, damn, Tim. Is the cut really that important? Oh, you best believe. See, in life, you can go from having a fresh, crispy cut in your teens to having the KD look. I'm talking ball spot having push back lining, always dotted up brushing here in your 20s. Mm, mm, mm. Now, fellas, we're not here line shaming over here, my guy. Oh, no, no, no. There's no shame in God's work. Matter of fact, just check out my man, Braun. Man's hairline had the biggest comeback in the last decade, and so can you. Now, I've been blessed. God has kept my hairline intact for now. I can still grow all of my hair and have one of the best barbers one could ask for. But see, life wasn't always peaches and cream. See, in order to find your God, and fellas know what I mean, that one person that knows how to cut your hair just the way you like it. You don't even have to speak, but man knows exactly how you like it. See, that takes time and patience, and worst of all, trial and error. And that's where this story begins. So for this story, I'm gonna take you back, back to the worst barber of my life. So it was freshman year in college. Now when you're in college, three things are for sure. First, you gotta find a new group of friends. Trust me, you know your old high school buddies? Your day ones? Your OGs? Well, you're never gonna see them again. Second, you need a job. J O. B. Now unless mommy and daddy sent you to school with that bag, you gonna need to find a way to make money. <coughs> Legally that is. And third, you need a barber. Now this is a tedious task. See in order to get that cut, you need to connect. See the cut game is similar to the drug game. You don't just walk to any barber shop and request a cut. Oh no, that's crazy. You need the connect. Someone to introduce you to that guy. So one day your boy was in biochemistry class. Oh, that's right, my guy. Your boy was all about them books. So I'm sitting in class, focused on my education. <laughs> okay, I'm capping. Your boy was busy admiring and daydreaming about thick Miss Gooden. Mm, it's good and got that eh. Boy, just give me three and a half minutes, maybe even four. She gonna be ready to marry a nigga. Then the kid next to me walks up to me. Excuse me, you got an extra pan I can borrow? Oh yeah, I got you, dog. See, the kid next to me was my guy, Tony. Now, Tony was all about that drip. Homie always had the freshest kicks, had the newest name brand clothes, but most of all, had a fresh cut. Now, Tony was a year ahead of me, which meant he knew his way around campus. Hey, I'm Tony. Oh, what's up, Tony? I'm Tim. Well, thanks for the pen, Tim. Hey, you coming to the party? Yeah, yeah, I'm coming through. Now, just like most schools, during the weekend, we had our first college party. Now, here's the problem. See, after a couple weeks of not getting that cut, your hair starts getting out of control, and I had yet to find a barber. Damn, my hair's looking crazy, fam. I gotta find a new barber before the party. So the next day, I got to class and asked my homie Tony. Yo, Tony, you know any barbers around here? Yeah, but my guy only takes appointments. Damn, let me get his number. So Tony hands me his number, and right after class, I hit him up. Hey, how much is that fade cut? A few moments later, he hits me back. Fades are $20. Oh, hold up, 20 bones for the cut? Now I know some of you are like, $20? Sounds good to me. See, I grew up paying $10 for a fresh cut and five for a shape up. So to stay fresh, I got a cut every week. One week I got the fade, and the next I got the shape up. That's $15 every two weeks, $30 every month, 52 weeks in a year, we talking $390. Sounds like a good deal to me, but 20 bones a week, oh no. That's over a G a year, my guy. So I was like, forget that, I'ma find my own barber. 
So the next day, I got up nice and early, skipped class, and started looking for a barbershop. In order to find a good spot, you gotta go to the hood. See, hood barbershops are the best. They're cheap, reliable, and masters of their art. Sure, your car might be missing after you leave, but you're gonna be fresh. So after looking for a while, I spotted a shop that looked affordable. So I walked in, and the place was packed. Which, first of all, is always a good thing, which means they got a good reputation. Now, every guy knows the barber rules. Now, for the uninformed, I'm gonna give you the gems. Rule number one, if you're new to a shop and don't know where to go, wait. Patience is the key. Sit for at least 15 to 20 minutes and observe. Do not, I repeat, do not respond to the first person who asks you if you need any help. See, this is always the trick. And by trick, I mean, that nigga can't cut hair. Hey, can I help you? Nah, I'm good, fam. You sure? My seat's open. No, I'm good. You sure? I had the fastest seat. I'm sure. You sure, dog? I give you half up, nigga. Okay, don't really say that, but you get the point. Now, this shop was different. See, on the first seat, we had the old man. Usually, the man has been cutting hair for a long time, so he knows what he's doing. On the second spot was the slow cut guy. You know the type? The type of barber that takes forever to give you a cut. On the third spot was the no client having kid. And on the last seat was a lady. Now the first two had to be eliminated since they had too many people waiting in line. So it's now between the guy with the empty seat and the lady. Now I'm all for the ladies, but come on, my guy. I've never had a girl cut my hair. Okay, Tim, it's either this guy or shorty. Hmm, what should I choose? Well, at least the girl got a couple people waiting. That means she might know what she's doing. All right, I'm gonna go with shorty. Excuse me, how many do you have waiting? Oh, I'm sorry, kid. These are my last two. I'm leaving early today. Now I only have one option, the empty seat. Now since it was getting late and the party was that night, there was only one thing left to do. So I closed my eyes, looked up to the sky and said my prayers. God, it's your boy. Now I know you are busy and all, but I need you. See, I'm about to get my first cut and this nigga is ass. So I'm asking, no, I'm begging. Please lay your hands upon him so he can deliver a good cut. Amen. So I get up, walk to my guy, and took my seat. What's up, kid? What's up? So, how do you want it? Now, since I wasn't taking any chances, I knew there's only one thing that he can't mess up. One thing that doesn't require much skill and time. Oh, uh, yeah. Let me get a shape up. You sure? I can fix the fade, too. You know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna let my mans do his thing. I already said my prayers. What could go wrong? I'm gonna get you right, kid. Okay, cool. I like my guy's confidence. See, confidence goes a long way, which means my man knows what he's doing. So my guy gets the clippers and starts doing his thing. So a few moments later, the shop's phone rings and my guy goes to pick it up. Now, I'm a true believer in never look at the cut until it's finished, but this was a special occasion. So I turned around, closed my eyes. Okay, Tim, this is it. Looked deep in the mirror and the cut looked decent. Oh, okay, my guy. So far, so good. Oh, I thought it would be bad. So my guy gets back and continues cutting my hair. Then I notice something strange. See, while cutting my hair, I suddenly noticed everyone in the shop was looking towards my direction. Okay, this is weird. Why is everyone looking at my cut? Oh, damn, Tim. The cut must be looking fresh. I think my guy's doing his thing and everyone's surprised. Then I saw the person behind me leave the shop. Okay, hold up. Why did that guy leave? Okay, maybe he went to the car real quick. Then, my guy finally finished. Now, this is when I knew something wasn't right. See, when a barber finished cutting your hair, he hands you the mirror just to make sure the cut was perfect. Now, this guy was on some, oh, you already done, kid. So, I was like, what you mean we done? You got a mirror? See, here's the thing. I kind of pushed your hairline a little. Oh, no, 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 no. What you mean a little? Just a tiny bit. But fam, no one's going to notice it. Trust me. So I turned around, looked in the mirror, and oh my god. This fool <laughs> fucked up my hairline. Oh, no, 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 no. Not my cut. Damn, Tim, you done. Yo, you pushed my hairline back. Now, my guy, I'm going to ask you one more time. What would you do? pay this man his money or drop this fool like he did your hairline. So I looked deep at the guy and I said, listen to me, on my mama, I'm not paying you for jack. Why not? Why not? Fool, you pushed my hairline back. So I turned around, walked out the door, got to my work, drove to the crib and cut all my shit off. So moral of the story, 
Always trust your instincts. They're a message from your soul. And fam, never trust a bubble with the empty seat. What's up, world? Thank you for joining your boy for another video. Woo Nothing hurts like that pushback cut. Mm -mm -mm. I know you feel me on this one. Now let's get straight to the shout outs. This week's first shout out goes to my guy, Ruben Riches. What's up, kid? Oh, we got the next LeBron James in the building. Okay, dog. I see you. Well, follow the kid on IG as Ruben Riches. Keep doing your thing, young king. Second shout out goes to the one and only It's a Stewie. What's up, kid? I see we got a real Stewie fan. Okay. Well, follow the kid on IG as Sunny underscore zero zero. Keep shining, fam. And last shout out goes to the fam. Playboy. What's up, kid? I see you out here. Well, follow the kid on IG as underscore playboy underscore is keep doing your thing fam if you want a chance to win a shout out subscribe to the channel follow your boy on ig and send me that screenshot as always live timeless